Because a monopoly is the market, we really don't need to worry about the shutdown point. We're going to focus our attention on the relationship between average total cost and price so we can look for profits. If price is greater than average total cost, we're earning a positive profit. If they're equal, we're breaking even. And if price is less than average total cost, then the firm is earning a loss. So a monopoly is going to look at price and average total cost at Q star to figure out if they have profits or losses. Here we have a downward sloping demand curve, downward sloping marginal revenue, upward sloping marginal cost, and typical U-shaped average total cost. So we'll find Q star by looking for marginal revenue equals to marginal cost. Then at that Q star we go up to the demand curve and over to find P star. Now since we're looking for profits we go back to Q star, go up to ATC and over. In this case price exceeds average total cost so that area represents the firm's profits. Another way of thinking about that is price minus ATC times Q star is a positive number. Here's another example. First we find Q star where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. We go up to the demand curve and over to find P star. Then from Q star we go up to the ATC and over. And in this case it's the same point. We have a tangency right there. We're not going to illustrate any profit area because profits are equal to zero. The final case we find Q star by looking where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. Take it up to the demand curve and over to find P star. Go back to Q star, go all the way up to the ATC and over, and in this case we're going to be earning a loss because our average total cost exceeds our price at Q star. As a recap, the firm's going to produce the level of output where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. They'll charge price according to the demand curve at Q star. And then they're going to compare that price to the average total cost at Q star to determine profits or losses.